Hello, hello there, Mavs. Welcome back to the update where we put the U in CMU. Brianna, I'm not sure if that's something we can claim. Like, the U in technically stands for university and... Uh, ah, technicalities. I personally thought it was clever. How about the U in CMU TV? Hmm. I suppose that would make more sense. But sadly, the U would still stand for university. Oh, Julian, you're no fun. I have plenty of fun. You just took away my only outlet to make brilliant jokes. You mean the bear? Hug, I'm not sure if I can stand any more bear puns after last time. But how about if I can use my U and CMU line, I'll bring back the bear. I only used those puns twice, but that sounds great to me. Roll it! Here we are, CMU, another week for another episode on all the events happening on campus. I know you're excited and just jumping up and down for joy, so Mav, sit down, shut up, and get ready for your mind not only to be blown, but updated. On Monday, celebrate President's Day by buying yourself a cupcake for $5. Since nothing screams Murica more than smearing red, white, and blue frosting all over your face as you devour a cupcake. It shows your patriotism and honors our American presidents. I'm not sure how it'll honor anyone, but don't worry because I'm sure it'll be delicious either way. Also on Monday, head over on over to the L. Palmer Natatorium in the Hamilton Rec Center to learn how to kayak. From 7 to 9 p.m., the outdoor program will provide all the gear and teach you all the necessary skills to turn you into an epic kayaking pro. You'll be racing down rivers and lakes in no time, Mavs. On Tuesday, visit the Bookcliff seating area in the University Center at 9 a.m. to have coffee with a cop. Enjoy a nice cup of joe talking to a cop while trying to bury the knowledge of your crimes deep down inside, Mavs. You cannot, you cannot um, look at me, me in the eyes and tell me that you have never went over five miles over the speed limit. You would be a liar. Anyway, in all stereotypical fashion, there should be donuts there. Donuts, coffee, and a chill chat with cops. What more would you want on a Tuesday morning? Did you know, Mavs, that you have blood? That there is blood right inside of you? Were you aware that one in seven people in the hospital need blood? Well, let me tell you that you can save the lives of three individuals by donating your blood. Indeed, Mavs, on Wednesday, Student Life is hosting our CMU Blood Drive. It is happening right in the plaza from 11 to 2 p.m. Donating costs nothing, and giving equals living. Every drop counts, so if you have the time, donate your blood to save a life. A reminder, Mavs, that Thursday is the last day to add or drop a late start class. If you want to get an extra credit or if the class is too stressful for your current course load, then it will be your last chance to either add or drop it. Also on Thursday, get ready to have some fun because the Club Advisory Board is hosting a Club URA game night. It'll be in the UC room 213 from 6 to 8 p.m. This event is to celebrate all of the wonderful clubs here at CMU. But prepare to put on your competitive face as this game night isn't just to have fun, but to see which club will win. I'm totally not biased here when I say that the best club is CMU TV. So don't be surprised if you see it, it taking number one on the leaderboards. On Friday, get ready to learn about some Super 6 safety as the Associated Student Government is hosting CMU Safety Day. This event will be taking place in the ballroom and will be going over topics such as mental health, campus safety, physical safety, and more. So feel free to stop on by and learn about all the ways to take care of your mental health or what resources are on campus to make sure that you feel safe on that walk to your dorm. On Saturday, put on your fanciest winter attire and prepare to dance as the Black Student Alliance is hosting their winter formal. It'll be taking place in the UC Ballroom from 6 to 9 p.m. All students are invited to celebrate Black excellence, Excellency history in our, in our present and future. So be prepared to show up, make some groovy moves, and kill it on the dance floor to some sick tunes to celebrate. Now, Mavs, that's all we have for our campus news. But worry not, we aren't quite finished giving you our entertainment yet. Be prepared to welcome back what on earth is going on in the world. At Harvard, scientists have built a school of robotic fish that are powered by human heart cells and can swim on their own. 
These fish are made out of paper, plastic, gelatin, and two strips of living heart muscle cells. They show how a lab-grown heart tissue can be used to maintain an indefinite rhythmic beat. I just can't wrap my mind around how scientists have made robotic fish that can swim from human hearts. You've heard of the Florida man, perhaps even the Florida woman or child, but have you ever heard of the Idaho man? It certainly wasn't a state I was expecting to see in the headlines, but David Rush, an Idaho man, completes his goal of breaking 52 world records in a single year. He broke one Guinness world record every week in 2021, and 43 of them have been confirmed. If this man can do it, then I have no doubt that CMU can break some sort of record. Maybe if we band together to pass the ball to each other, no matter what we do, I believe that we can do it. There has been a kidnapping. Well, it's more of a mascot napping, if you will. A uh, pickle napping, maybe. The Portland Pickles have gotten their mascot stolen off of their front porch. The baseball team is asking Portland for any information on their missing pickle and a no questions asked return. They might not have questions, but I certainly do. Why on earth would anyone want to steal a pickle mascot? But most importantly, why would they just leave the package on the front porch with no one to pick it up? Also, they have a porch and not like a mailbox or a post office it could have been put in. I can only imagine the individual was thinking they scored with baseballs or bats only to open the box to find that they have Dylan, the pickle mascot. In British Columbia, Canada, three cats have held a couple's blender hostage. The couple bought a nice new blender. Once they got the package, they put the box on the ground. That was their first mistake. The cats jumped on the box and have refused to get off. The couple hasn't been able to use their blender for weeks, but they have documented the standoff on social media. They were able to get their blender by contacting the company to give them a few empty boxes. And there you have it, Mavs, another week of campus news. Plus some world news for a bit of spice. I don't blame that couple for not just picking up their cats. That would have broken some sort of cat code. Maybe they should have given them the robotic heart-powered fish to play with. That oddly specific invention would have been a drive to get. Mavs, be sure to play some fun games and donate some blood. I've been your lovely co-host, Jillian Richardson. Don't forget to show those dance moves at the BSA's dance. I'm your host, Brianna Sinclair, and until next time, keep it classic Grand Junction, and, and stay, stay updated. updated.